I'm back at it again, wearing the same thing. Hello, I hate social media. Let's right. get to it. My reasoning for why I deleted social media and why I'm not a big fan of social media. Now I understand, this might seem hypocritical because a lot of people say YouTube is social media. And it is. I feel like YouTube is a pretty positive space. I mean, it's always been positive for me. When it comes to Instagram and Twitter, I am not the biggest fan of them. Let's just start with Twitter. I had a Twitter back when it first started when Shay Carl got it and said, hey guys, get Twitter so you can know what I'm up to. I got it, all because of Shay, but I didn't get on it like ever. In my area, it started to get kind of big. I think my junior year or sophomore year, I started to get on it a little bit more. I was never like a big poster of it. I just read a lot. I had it a lot of the reason was to watch Best Vines because you know, those videos are hilarious. Too bad Vine is dead. Too soon? My experience with Twitter was just not a good experience. Like, I, I wasn't bullied or anything like that. I didn't like how I was. For me, when I got on Twitter, I left feeling negative. Whether it be like a little bugged that my life's not better or I guess be bugged by the fact that this person has more followers. I don't know, st stupid, really, really stupid reasons. People were negative on Twitter. My news feed was Hilarious vines, the random hilarious person, people subtweeting other people or people complaining about their lives. But when I was on Twitter, I always just had like, okay, this person's annoying. Okay, that's just ridiculous. Oh, wow, well, this person has more followers. I suck. This person got more retweets. I'm not as good as them. And I didn't like that that was what my life was coming to, where I was waking up looking at Twitter and if I posted something that I was looking every hour to see how many likes I got or retweets I got. Like I don't like that that was becoming my attitude. And so I deleted it. <laughs> I've never looked back. And I know that Twitter can be a great thing, but for me it was just negative and I didn't like who I was becoming because of it. And then I had Instagram. Now Instagram was 100% I just felt kind of like negative about myself after it because someone had more likes than I did. Someone put up this picture and their picture looked so great and I can never put up a picture that great so I suck at taking pictures, never get any good pictures or I don't get very many followers, why don't people want to follow me? I don't get very many likes, why don't people want to like me? Oh, this person has more likes, well, I want to be better than them. That's how I got with Instagram and I hated it. I hated that I was starting to worry about my numbers. It was starting to like absorb me and that was my biggest thing is I, I was so focused on my phone and not focus on everything else. I ended up getting rid of Instagram. Um, yes, I do have it again. <laughs> Sister-in-law, my best friend bullied me into it. So, thanks guys. Love ya. I don't post very often. I don't follow very many people. I don't pay attention to how many people are liking my stuff. I really don't like having an Instagram. I have it really for my, my sister-in-law and best friends. And because like it does give me a reason to want to go take cute pictures with of my baby or with my husband and stuff like I do enjoy that aspect of it but um yeah I'm not a big Instagram person I don't really care for it that much I do have a Facebook but my Facebook is strictly people that I I actually know so like people that I was friends with back in the day that I went to school with or family and that's like it and I like getting happy birthdays on Facebook so that's why I have a Facebook too <laughs> I know I know my life after getting rid of a lot of social medias and not focusing on social medias i've been happier my focus is my baby boy and my husband and my family and that's it i don't know what's going on in other people's lives i don't judge other people on their lives i don't worry about other people i don't know what people's dramas are i hope people are doing good if i hear people's drama it's like oh cool i'll tell chat probably doesn't even listen half the time i don't know i don't have hateful feelings towards people. I don't think about other people unless something gets brought up and that's the only time that people come into my head. I'm glad that I'm not focusing on other people and trying to be better than other people and thinking badly about myself because I'm not doing as good as someone else. I think I've matured, I've changed a lot. That was in high school when I was like that. 
but I just still feel like a lot of social media is just kind of toxic and I just didn't want to be on it and I like the fact that I'm living in the world and that I want to film and do stuff go out and do actually do things and not be focused on my phone like I am focused on my phone sometimes because I play games and sometimes I watch YouTube a little too long but like I said social media can be a great thing I know it can be a great thing but it can be a toxic thing and I feel like my experience with it has mainly been a negative and I feel like a lot of people are very negative and people compete with people too much. What do you think about social media? Like, what do you love about social media? What's your favorite social media platform? Do you think social media is more good or more bad? I don't think it's a terrible thing. I just don't think it's for me. I don't think I ever use it badly. I just don't like how I always felt afterwards, so. You know, whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And if you want, like, share, or subscribe, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Bye, guys.